The next technique we're going to learn is the shark tooth technique. It's relatively similar to the zigzag. We're just adding a little bit of extra motion to it. We're working on a progression. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did for the zigzag technique. We're going to take our V-chamfered butt joint, we're going to tack at three points, and then we are going to begin building our puddle and carrying it through the weld zone. Now, the difference between this technique and the zigzag technique is you're taking your arc and you, you're making an arc motion into it, dipping in, trying to reach more of the front quarter edge of the puddle, kind of dipping in a little bit, kind of like sticking your finger in peanut butter. Now, in the zigzag, you were just taking the arc pretty much in the middle face of the puddle, connecting the A and C edges. Now, this time what we want to do is we want to just create a little bit of an arcing motion outlining the bottom quarter of the puddle. So this time, pretty much the same maneuver, but we're adding just a little bit of an arc motion to it as you move through. So you can use your wrist to do this, and you can also use your fingers at the same time. Again, you don't wanna do the Popeye and you don't wanna do the chicken dance. You wanna make sure that you're nice and rigid, you keep the rules the same, and you move through executing your shark tooth. Now, I will demonstrate. 